In this lesson, we're going to find the determinant of matrix using uh, what's called cofactor expansion. Um, so this is the same matrix that we looked at in the in example one. Um, but this time, instead of using the first row, I'm going to use the last column. Okay. And with this example, I'm going to use this idea of the cofactor, okay, which is what you see over here. Okay. Okay, this is what a cofactor is. By definition okay so focusing on the first or the last column okay so we're gonna get all right so the first value that we're gonna that we're gonna work on is this one okay so that's for the first first row and third column okay all right so if you remember from the example one, or if you recall, uh, we had this sign value. So there was a, um, and in fact, you can see that here, minus one to the i plus j. That's the value of the sign in front of the determinant of a. So that's, those values, this sign will either be positive or negative, depending on what, you know, depending on which row or column it's in. Okay. So there's a sign convention to use for this. Okay, I'm going to write that over here. Okay, so it's going to be, it's always plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. Okay, and then this is minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. And then plus, okay. So the signs will alternate, and those are the values, right? Those are the values of the sign for this coefficient, okay, of the cofactor. All right. So now, starting with that, so we're going to go back over here. So the determinant of A, okay, that's going to be, in this case, you have plus, minus, plus. So that's just positive 0 times the determinant of the submatrix. Okay. Okay, so I have, so again, this value 0 is coming from the corresponding, coming from the corresponding uh, entry that I cover for the first row and the third column, okay? And so, and that's using this idea of the cofactor expansion. Okay, so then next one, okay? So let me rewrite the matrix. One, five, zero, two, four, negative one, zero, minus one, zero, minus two, zero. Okay, going to the next entry. So I'm going to cover up the second row and third column. So for that, okay, so this is, remember, this is plus, minus, plus, minus. So we're going to get minus negative 1 times the determinant of the submatrix, 1, 5, 0, minus 2. Okay, so that's coming from here, 1, 5, 0, minus 2. Okay. And then for the for one more, one five zero two four negative one zero minus two zero. Okay, so for this entry, okay, we cover up the again the the third column and third row. So the, again, that's for the sign. You have plus minus plus minus plus, so it's going to be plus zero, times the determinant of the submatrix, one, five, two, four. Again, that's coming from here, one, five, two, four. Okay? So these values that you see, these determinant values, along with their sign values, those are the cofactors. Okay? So hence, uh, hence the technique called cofactor expansion. Okay? All right. So now what to do is just simplify this. Okay? So zero times the determinant Okay, that is minus 4, minus 0, so that's going to be negative 4. The next one we have, this is going to be plus 1. Okay, times the determinant of this is just minus 2, minus 0. Plus 
0 times the determinant of this, which is 4 minus 10. Okay, so that's going to be 0 times negative 6. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's the determinant for this. Okay, so now we just have to add these up. We're going to get minus 4. Actually, I'm sorry. Minus 4 times 0, which is 0. Minus 2 plus 0. So you end up getting negative 2, as we expected. Okay. So, um, like I said, it doesn't matter uh, which column or or row you you use. Okay, you're always going to end up getting the uh, same determinant. Okay, using this cofactor expansion. Okay, in the next example, I'm going to show you a different uh, a different method for finding the determinant, but that will only work with uh, three by three, and um, they use this quite a bit in physics. Okay, so that's the next example.